Hi, I'm Ulf Ewaldson. I am the CEO of Ericsson, a company that is uh, striving for a prime position and a prime experience to delight customers in media. You sit on Ericsson's research board. What within that research seems exciting to you? Well, I mean, first of all, Ericsson has a very wide range of research. Obviously, we are very strong in the networks area, everything from mobile networks to the core networks and the transformation of those. We're also working a lot with the control over uh, the experience in telco networks in terms of OSS, BSS system, charging systems, but not the least in media. And of course, being here in, um, in Amsterdam uh, at IBC, you could see that a lot of the excitement that I feel about our research is going into media. Um, we're doing research on things like metadata and how to read files, automatic reading, analytics around media, as well as distribution of media, new kinds of uh, CDN systems for better, better distribution of media uh, in networks, as well as on our TV platforms, as we are uh, striving for that prime position in television, which is very important in the big transformation going on in networks and in media. Ericsson has been investing heavily in TV and media for a number of years. What is Ericsson seeking to achieve in this industry? Well, obviously, it's clear that the transformation between traditional networks of all kinds in the telco space as well as the IT space, IT technologies, is merging into the media space. And being here at IBC, you could clearly see how IP is starting to transform big parts of this industry. And, uh, we have seen this for a long time. We were early on into IPTV. Today we have a prime position with our media first platform in that space. Uh, and we're trying to achieve actually the experience and to be able to delight customers being over any type of network the best that possibly can be done. Now that keeps moving. That's a moving target. And uh, as we're adding services to this, we can build a full range of capability. Everything from content uh, creation, uh, where we are big in transcoders and encoding, as well as the distribution, CDN, MDN, uh, converged experiences in distribution, to experience, which is the media first platforms where we're prime position in television, to our services being. And in services, we're, we're really working hard, everything from play out to metadata, to uh, uh, content discovery, as well as uh, consultancy services and SI is something we supply and that we work with. A major part of Ericsson's research is in 5G technologies. Why is 5G so important? Well, the fifth generation mobile systems, or 5G as it's popularly referred to, is really going to be much, much broader than before. The reason why it's going to get so broad is because we see industries merging here. It's the media industry merging with the IT industry, uh, technology merge also into networks industry or the telco industry. Therefore, we cannot define 5G as just another radio axis in a mobile structure. 5G is going to be about bringing that very, very best experience to any type of device, any type of screen, if you will, or even if a car is a screen, uh, and from, from any type of cloud or cloud installation or media cloud. And therefore, 5G is very important. It's going to be very important also for the media industry. And uh, we're working hard with that, and we're going to see launches of uh, fifth generation networks gradually, I think uh, from 2018 to, to 2020, and even earlier. Ericsson has been a prime enabler in shaping what it calls the network society. What does Ericsson mean by this term, and what role does Ericsson play? Well, this is about digitalization and mobility. So when you combine those, you would see industry after industry getting digitalized. And obviously here in, in Amsterdam, we can see at the IBC, we can see that the media industry is very far into the digitalization. Um, and therefore, we are also very focused on it. But that digitalization will not stop at the media industry. It will also be car industries, the electricity, transport industry, whatever industry is out there. And that's what we call the network society. It's a society where Anything that can benefit from a connection will have one. Um, and therefore, it's going to be about building clouds on the one side and the development of devices, consumer electronics as well as other devices on the other side. And between those are the networks. And we see uh, basically three ingredients that uh, is building up and transforming industries. It's the mobility and the broadband and the cloud. And those three ingredients combined with digitalization is what really 
making this happen. So a processor being built into anything can be intelligent and connected to a cloud. The good thing with the media industry is that it's really living that. It's already happening. It's, its formats are getting digital, but not only that, the whole distribution, the production, the distribution, the experience is getting digital. And therefore, media is very important in the network society. And uh, we believe that, I mean, if you take television, the change that's going to happen in the next 10 years is going to be even more dramatic than what television has gone through the last 60 years. It's going to be a big change, and therefore the network society will be very relevant for media.